Hi dear students, in this special series on subject wise strategy, we are going to identify all the important topics that you must keep in mind before you start working on a subject. We will be looking at the trend for each subject and then mapping it to all the tasks in the app so that you can prepare better and score better. Now if you look at the trend of pediatric dentistry questions in the past 6 years, you will see that the trend shows an increase in the number of questions from nearly 6 to up to 10. The proposed weightage of this subject is 14 out of 240 questions. So this is an important subject and relatively easier because there is a lot of parallel topics that comes with dental anatomy, some part of endo and a lot of orthodontics. So it's easier to master this subject provided you are focusing on the right kind of tasks. So let's take a look at the recall questions and see which of these topics are important in pediatric dentistry. So the first question is dog and bell experiment is a part of that is classical conditioning theory by Ivan Pavlov. Next modified pediatric triangle involves society. Key stride of dental caries describes Caries activity. Then there's a case based question with a newborn baby who's continuously developing fever, difficulty in feeding, and you can see that there is ulceration on the tongue and there are these neonatal teeth. This is associated with Riga Fede disease. Then tongue thrusting is diagnosed by postural rest position. You will find a lot of oral habits related questions in orthodontics as well and preventive and interceptive orthodontics will cover the space maintainers. So make sure that you are also following ortho and pedo closely as a subject. Right, then the next question is hydrogenic pulp exposure in a deciduous molar is managed by and that would be direct pulp capping. A young patient is seen with ankylosis of primary molar with permanent successor beneath that. What is the ideal treatment? And that would be extraction of ankylosed tooth. And this is the discussion and explanation of why the other options are incorrect. Right. Then the next question is an appliance incorporated with two helixes anterior and posterior used for the correction of posterior cross bite and the answer is quad helix and you can see that the question itself is describing four helixes right. An 8 year old child reported immediately after trauma in 1 1 as shown in the image what will be the ideal treatment the answer would be direct pulp capping using MTA. Next. A patient with mixed dentition age has midline diastema and blanched test was positive. The image shows erupted 2-1, erupting 1-1. And the reason for midline diastema in this patient, answer would be ugly duckling stage. Important for your exam, also from ortho perspective in development of dentition. So here's the explanation and the key concept. And you can also watch the video explanation to get a detailed understanding of this particular question. Right? Okay, moving on. A patient with no peri uh, oral muscular coordination is seen in which type of cerebral palsy? Spastic. Then depth of caries which is visible radiographically is 500 microns. This is a fact based question. This is an important question. You must remember the values. Uh, when a lesion is progressing to the depth of 350 to 500, then a white spot will become visible. Next, deciduous central incisor was intruded and the radiograph shows elongation in which direction was the tooth displaced. So the answer would be palatal, this is applied and you can find the detailed explanation here and remember this key concept with regards to foreshortening and elongation. Next, a 10 year old patient reports to the clinic with pain and swelling in the lower left back region. And then IOPA is attached. Most appropriate treatment here would be extraction of the tooth. Crescent shaped areas seen only on drying are suggestive of early nursing caries. A 10 year old patient reports to the clinic with pain and swelling 
most appropriate treatment here would be perpectomy and stainless steel crown. So you will see a lot of radiographic questions, a lot of applied uh, aspects of treatment in children in pedo. So make sure that you are kind of understanding uh, the concepts, solving all the tasks so that you can have an applied idea of the question. This is fairly straightforward. This model was proposed by and this is Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Identify the type of caries in the given image. These are smooth surface caries including the proximal surface of a deciduous molar. Then another image based question. A parent brought a 2 year old child and since she was unable to eat for past 3 days, the child was presented with elevated temperature. Look for keywords. So this is uh, an infection. The image of the doctor's assessment is attached for your reference. What is the diagnosis? This is primary herpetic gingivostomatitis. Very common. It's a common uh, kind of question that is asked. Then next, a 4 year old patient reports to the clinic after a fall. Clinical image is attached. What would be the protocol? Management of trauma. Again, a very important pediatric concept. So here you will wait for eruption till 6 months, looking at the age of the patient. Then a 7 year old child has a fracture 2-1, reports to the clinic 2 days after trauma and the tooth was vital. What would be the best treatment? Now because the tooth is vital, you will go for apexogenesis. The type of behavior shaping indicated in children with low intellectual level, tell, show, do. Read more about tell, show, do. It's an important topic. Next question. The following behavior modification technique is based on which of the following theories? And the answer is social learning theory. The technique of placing stainless steel crown on decayed deciduous teeth without removing caries is called Hall technique. Pulp therapy is contraindicated in pediatric patients with leukemia. Remember this. Obturation with GP cone is indicated in primary teeth only when the successor tooth is missing. Young's formula for pediatric drug dosage is based on the age of the child. Right? So you have to remember Young's formula, Feed's rule, and all the other rules which are going to help you understand pediatric dosages. A 7 year old child shows crowding in mandibular anterior teeth in a class 1 molar relationship with no physiologic spaces left. Here you are going to wait and watch. IQ of 90 to 109 is considered average. A patient 8 years of age is throwing tantrums. So this is Frankel's type 1. 6 year old child is crying forcefully and throwing tantrums. And the dentist takes away his favorite toy that he is carrying along. This is an example of omission. So behavior management again very very important in pediatric uh, dentistry questions. How is the tooth fracture classified according to Ellis and Davy? The most important classification. You have to know all the nine classes. And class five is avulsion. Remember, you can watch the video explanation. Objective fear in a child is derived from past experiences. Application of fluoride varnish after looting a crown has which of the following beneficial action? It provides a desensitizing action. More questions on fluoride will be in public health dentistry. So you must make sure that you are keeping pace with that too. Sequence of primary teeth affected in children with high caries susceptibility and that would be first maxillary incisors, then maxillary molars, canine mandibular molars and maxillary second molar. Next, while placing stainless steel crown on primary first and second molars, what consequence should be followed? What sequence should be followed? So the answer would be place crown first on the primary second molar and then on the primary first molar. Which is the material not used for pulpotomy and that's Mesto paste. Self-inflicting injury or masochistic habits are seen in nash nienen syndrome. Maximum increase in the number of S mutants occurs during the transition from primary to permanent dentition. 
a 12 year old patient presents with retained primary mandibular second molar and radiograph shows congenitally missing second premolar the conservative approach is to retain the second molar with minimum proximal contact stripping this is the explanation here with regards to the treatment modalities when you have missing second premolars and what to do in a case like that according to which theory thumb sucking habit is due to deep emotional influence and that's freudian theory correct which of this is an indication for pomocresol pulpotomy and the answer is inflammation restricted to coronal pulp next what is the main reason for longer etching time in case of children it is because the enamel is aprismatic and you need to uh, etch for longer and the rods are wavy in orientation next question sequence of teeth affected in children with high caries susceptibility so the first teeth to be affected are maxillary incisors followed by maxillary molars then mandibular molars and lastly mandibular incisors the last question is the child behaves inappropriately during his dental visit the dentist sends an sends the mother outside the operating this is similar to the question that we saw before where the patient had a toy and the dentist took it away so this is again an example of omission right so after assigning all these questions and trying to find out which tasks are important in pediatric dentistry we can say that caries and restoration is very commonly asked so that's a task that you must focus on and so is pediatric endodontics and behavior management so the tasks which are showing more number of questions are definitely important but that does not mean that the tasks which are not showing many questions are less important you can always expect new questions from these tasks and it is necessary to maintain the balance but if you are looking for the most important topics and tasks then here is what you should focus on now how do you correlate that to a uh, preparation strategy in your app so when you go to your app and when you see these tasks all the topics that we allotted are present here as specific tasks right so say for example you want to practice pediatric endodontics you are going to go to prepare and you can find the workbook here and you will find a lot of good illustrations and flow charts tables right and diagrams so this is your preparation phase and then you can always watch the video and take the test so you will find all your topics that you need to build up the knowledge the fundamentals that you need for pediatric dentistry the next step is to take the q bank watch mcq videos and practice more questions and now i will tell you how to maximize your preparation with meritas app now there are five things to keep in mind when you start your preparation for any subject at any given point of time number 1 is to start with tasks like i said tasks are the building blocks they are your foundation and fundamental for any subject you need to start preparing for the task with the workbook you you must look at the video if you have any doubts regarding the topic and then practice questions and then you can take the test now whenever you are taking a test or practicing questions each question comes with the answer explanation and key concept the explanation will be elaborate it will tell you everything that you need to know about the topic it is a good source of taking down notes because a lot of additional questions can be asked from the existing explanations right and if you are well versed with the topic you can just look at the key concept and reinforce the topic in your mind additionally a lot of questions also come with multiple choice question videos which are explanatory videos they are going to talk about how to eliminate options how to strategically focus on the question and additional knowledge that comes with the topic so your first aim should be to complete all these tasks for a given subject and then move on to the next thing that is q bank now q bank or question bank is a collection of high yield extensive questions they are clubbed together in uh, topics they are clubbed together chapter wise and you will have more hands on experience on difficult an extensive preparation on these questions again they will come with explanatory videos explanations and key concepts so once your tasks and q bank for a given subject are complete you are good to appear for the weekly checkpoint tests 
Now the tests are of two types in the app. One is the weekly checkpoint test and self-paced test. I'll tell you about the weekly checkpoint test first. So suppose if you are preparing one subject over the week, then at the end of the week, you will have a test which is going to focus on that specific subject plus the subjects that were previously prepared, right? So that kind of snowballs the entire revision strategy. You will have a repeated encounter of multiple subjects from time to time. So you do not forget, it's easier to keep these topics in mind when you constantly see them. So the revision is reinforced. Plus you also get personalized AI recommendations, right? So at the end of your test, based on your performance, you will get how many questions you answered, what was the score, how much was the negative marking, where are you lacking, what are your stronger points? And then it will tell you how much time to dedicate for a revision of your weaker subjects. So with this strategy, you will be able to focus on specific areas that are your weaknesses. Now that is an exceptional feature of Meritor's app. And the next set of tests is self-paced test, which you can take at any given point of time. These are subject wise tests. You can also have cumulative tests, multiple recall questions also incorporated in form of tests. And towards the end of your preparation phase, you will have a lot of volatile factual high yield questions. Uh, in form of final strokes, which are again specialized tests to be able to remember these topics clearly before the exam. Now, once you come closer towards the end of your preparation, you will have access to this special feature of the app called Marathon. This is activated towards the end of your preparation, where you will have 3500 plus high yield questions. High yield questions meaning they have the chances to uh, be seen in the exam because either they are based on recall questions or because they are based on important concepts that are repeatedly seen in the exam. So when you practice these 3500 plus questions, you will also enter an all India competition where you will get a fair idea as to how your performance is with comparison to your colleagues. It's a great boost of confidence if you take it at the right time. And lastly, we have the all famous national mocks, which is a pan India or all India nationwide uh, simulation of NEET MDS exam. We conduct them uh, towards the end of your preparation in a few months to go. And every weekend you will have access to this special test. You will see a lot of new questions in national mocks, uh, which are based on important topics. So do not miss national mocks because it gives you a good hands on experience of the exam. It gives you an idea of time management because this is exactly according to NEET pattern that is 240 questions and three hours with negative marking. So you, you kind of get a very fair and square idea of your performance because this is again an all India competitive uh, mock exam and you will get personalized AI recommendations here as well. Now they are more important for uh, national mocks too because uh, towards the end when you are revising you will not know which subject to pick up at what time and your performance in the national mock will be assessed thoroughly and you will get your AI recommendations which will tell you which subjects to revise. So make sure that you are making use of all of these features in the app. Now apart from that, if there is any query that you have while solving your questions, if you have any doubts regarding any topics, you can always contact the faculty on the WhatsApp group. We are always here to help you. And I hope with this in mind, you'll be able to channelize all your preparation strategy in the right direction. And I hope we'll be able to help you achieve your dream seat in MDS. Thank you so much and good luck from Team Meritors.